Former President Trump's endorsement was sought by almost every Republican running for U.S. Senate here, but only one candidate got it, Dr. Mehmet Oz. In an interview seen only on KDKA, one of the other candidates tells political editor John Delano how he hopes to overcome that endorsement. Former President Trump's, quote, complete and total endorsement of Mehmet Oz for the U.S. Senate has put the other candidates like Dave McCormick in a bit of a quandary. How important is an endorsement from President Trump in this primary? Well, listen, there's there's no doubt President Trump is is very popular in Pennsylvania. You know, he's got high popularity, and I think with good reason. What you're saying is that President Trump is very popular and that he and there's good reason for that, but that his endorsement doesn't matter. Is that what well, you're saying? I'm saying that um, I'm saying that Pennsylvanians. Um, want to elect a leader uh, in their senator that can go and fight for their values. McCormick, who polls suggest is in a neck and neck race with Oz, with Kathy Barnett, Carla Sands, and Jeff Bardos close behind, is careful not to criticize Trump. But in a recent campaign ad, McCormick calls Oz, quote, a complete and total fraud, unquote. Who's right? Donald Trump or Dave McCormick? <laughs> well, my suggestion would be for Pennsylvanians, and they're pretty smart. Um, everywhere I go, they ask hard questions. I just suggest they uh, they uh, look up uh, look up Oz in his own words. McCormick says Oz has said and written things in the past that are at odds with his words today, and he should be held accountable. And McCormick says voters will pick someone who is authentic, not a fake. Would it worry you if President Trump came to Pennsylvania and campaigned for Dr. Oz? Well, listen, I suspect I suspect he will come at some point, if I had to guess. I have a lot of faith in the people of Pennsylvania. I think, uh, I think they respect President Trump, uh, but I also think they're going to make the best choice for them and for Pennsylvania. Now, coming up at six, I asked McCormick whether candidates like him, Oz, and others with hundreds of millions of dollars can truly understand what average Pennsylvanians are going through these days, along with charges made by some that McCormick cut jobs in Pittsburgh. You'll hear his answers coming up. John Delano, KDKA News.